Maurito, pallonetto, Maurito, Zanate, yes! A fabulous display from our Fantasista Foggia, coupled with a double from the sleeping goal scoring machine known as Zarate, was enough to see off a very inferior Bologna squad. The game took on a free for all approach that served the home team just fine, as everyone had a crack at Bologna goalkeeper Antonioli. Today, the North Curve goes beyond our territorial borders of North America, and we set a new precedent today with our guest. He is the host of Offside.com's Lazio homepage, and he's bridging the gap from North America to the UK. From Ireland, he is Cathal Mullen. Cathal, welcome to the North Curve. Uh, thanks very much. It's a pleasure to be part of this. After seeing that dominant performance, what were your thoughts on yesterday's game? Um, it was a very good performance all around. I think a lot of people will probably refer back to four or five months ago to say this is a, the Lazio of old, but... I'm not so sure this this was a different performance as far as I was concerned. Uh, I think the changes Rossi has made in recent weeks has has you know worked out very very well for the team. The defence looked more solid with Kubari at the back. Muslera's performing heart and mouth moments, you know, but uh, changes made have been good for the team. Being fit and playing is helping the midfield, is lessening the pressure on Ledesma, and for the first time in weeks now. We're starting to score goals. We're very clinical in attack. Zarate was pretty much lethal yesterday, and uh, these are the things that we, we need to improve on. There's still areas where we can improve, but in terms of the whole performance yesterday, it was, it was fantastic, you know? Definitely, without sounding uh, pessimistic, we haven't, I, I don't believe, fully turned the corner yet. Uh, our fragile, I guess, confidence is starting to grow, I guess we can see. We look towards Tuesday's clash. Hopefully, we can build on this because I can't remember having this much confidence in such a long time yeah I think that was one of the key elements of the performance yesterday, especially in the first half the, the team was bristling with energy it was confident uh, there was an urgency about our play and I think Foggia was a was a huge part of that but uh, looking on to Tuesday now we have to we have to build on this uh, I think the Coppa now as every day goes by it's becoming increasingly important and I think that tie could define our season overall, and I think we have we've done incredibly well. Yesterday' performance is a great stepping stone onto the Coppa and for the rest of the season, even. To beat Bologna is one thing, definitely, but uh, to go come home because I believe we're at the Olympico Tuesday, and to beat Juventus is a signal of intent from this team. I definitely think, in terms of what kind of performance we throw in is, is if we if we can really set the tone early and we can actually walk away with three points or actually take a step up in the first leg, it, it's a definitely a signal of intent from this squad. Yeah, it, it will be for sure. Uh, you know, Bologna and Juventus, you can't really compare the two teams. Bologna are relegation strugglers. Juventus are, you know, arguably title contenders. And I think the important thing is, and if like three or four years time we don't want to look back in the season and say this was the season where things could have went well but didn't we want to be able to look back and say well this is the first season in a long time where we were able to build on our you know previous successes we've had success in recent years you know qualifying for the champions league winning the cup about five years ago but we're now in a position where if we can gain success if we can win the cup or even reach the final or get into the UEFA Cup. We now are in a position, have a platform to build on that and, you know, propel ourselves up the table in future years. And I think it's important, the Cup is important for that aspect solely. We have to go out there and do our best. We can't, you know, focus on the league. We have to go out and try and get into the Cup final. And Juventus, I'm sure, are going to do the same. I'm sure Juventus is going to come out and play to win. But they have Champions League in the mind, they have the league in the mind. So this is a great opportunity for us. And if we play like we did yesterday, we have every chance. Definitely, Juventus is a well-oiled machine. They're playing on all fronts right now, and they're looking strong. They have a good chance still. They're, they're not fully out of it with the Champions League yet with Chelsea. But back to Lazio for a quick moment. Like I said before, 
during this, I'm, I'm speaking on this course of the season. I can't remember this much confidence heading into a match since probably the first derby in November. And we all know how that ended up. And that really set the tone for the downslide that we went on from here on in from the rest of the season. And we find ourselves today back with that same sort of confidence. We are playing the same sort of formation with, with Foggia just behind Zarate and Panda. Unfortunately, Rockies had to hit the bench as a, I guess, a cost, cost to, of it. But uh, I can't remember this much confidence, and I'm really looking forward to Tuesday's match. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it as well. I think I think it's a different Lazio. I think the players, the new players who brought in, are looking increasingly settled, and I'm actually quite confident that uh, we'll give a different performance on Tuesday to the one we gave in the derby. I think things are very different now. Things have changed, and I think we can really go out there and achieve something, but it's football, you never know. I think Zarate was just as excited to get to Tuesday as we all were. I, I saw him as soon as the game was done. He ran right into the tunnel. I don't know if he was late for a date or what happened. Yeah, I saw that. I thought he looked to be in a desperate rush. But uh, I, I think, you know, maybe he was just trying to avoid the media, try to avoid reporters. And But, I mean, if you can run at that sort of pace on Tuesday, I'd be very happy. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. He's got his head on straight. That's what I like to see. We're heading in to Tuesday with all the confidence in the world. And on behalf of the North Curve, I want to extend my gratitude to you, Cathal, from the offside. And I urge your readers, of course, because you have such a strong following, to become involved in the North Curve by sending your comments and analysis to dimashoalive.ca or via our Facebook group under uh, headed under the North Curve. Cathal, it's been a true pleasure. Thank you so much for being a part today. Yeah, thanks very much for having me.